Hello! This video is going to go over how to customize your homepage in Zoho CRM. My name is Dina Fallick and I am part of the Marks Group and if you have any questions or any support needs related to Zoho CRM, please contact us at info at marksgroup.net or visit our website at www.marksgroup.net. Now here we are on the home page, which is the first thing you see when you sign into Zoho. It can be helpful to use this home page because it can give you some key information you need uh, right at your fingertips within, within Zoho. So on this home page, you will be able to choose between three different views. And up here on the top right corner is where you can see those options. So if we click on this, the first view is called the classic view. And if I click on that, you can see here I have my tasks, my meetings, and amount by stage. And this is about it. This is an out of the box view and it includes the task, meetings, and pipeline by stage. This view is not editable and the only changes you can make is to see your tasks in different views or refresh your data. And what I mean by that is that the tasks here are pulling from the activities module and if you have different views of your tasks you can show them here. So right now you're seeing all of my tasks. You can do my closed tasks. You can do uh, my open tasks. Um, if you had scheduled things to be due today you can do uh, my today task, overdue tasks, whichever view you want. But other than adjusting that view the only thing you can do with these dashboards is to refresh them and that's what this little circle is and this would refresh it. The next view you have if you go to this down arrow is the home view for um, the, the current user. So as you can see my name is TMG Live Admin. That's a username here on this Zoho and this is the home page for that um, for this user and this is something that you can fully customize. customize. Um, right now what I have here is amount by stage, my open activities, my leads, closing this month, open deals, my sales funnel, and a number of other uh, options as well. Now what you can do here is if you go to these three uh, dots you can add a component, you can reorder, or you can view in full screen. So just to show you the reorder first, you can say reorder, and then I can take this, um, this component and move it down. And when I move it down low enough, it's switched, and now this is the one on top as well. And I can go down here as well, and I can move these around as I want to. I can move this here. I can do, you know, move this however way that I want to see. And then when you do that, you can save it, save the dash, the uh, home page, and you can see everything there as well. The other thing you can do is add a component. Now, when I click on add a component, you can see that you have your choice. You can choose from a dashboard, from a custom view, or for a widget and I'll take you through each of these so you can see what I mean. So if you choose Dashboard, this is going to go to your Analytics tab within Zoho, and you can pull from any of the, the dashboards that you've created. We do have other videos in our, in our channel that cover the analytics and how to create dashboards, and you can go to those to see further um, how to accomplish that. But here, what you're going to do is select a dashboard, could do leads this month, revenue this month, um, whichever dashboards you have. Um, this is all in the org overview and then the one you want. There are lead analytics, uh, deal insights. So for this one, I'm going to choose top 10 lead sources and then I can name it here as well, top lead sources. It doesn't have to be exactly the name of the dashboard. And I can click save and then you could see that the top lead sources um, doesn't have a lot of data, but that is now showing here as well. And then, like I did before, I can always reorder. And what if I decide this is most important to me? I'm going to um, to bring this up and bring this up to the top, let's say. Decide I want to see this here at the top. And then I can click Save. The next thing I can do to add a component 
is to go to a custom view. Now a custom view is the different views that you can create within a var the various modules. Again, similar to analytics and the dashboards, we do have other videos on our channel that relate to how to create custom views, and you can go to those if you need more detail. For now, um, I'm going to go to contacts and then the, the custom views that I have there. And you can see the custom views are the ones that are created by me, accounting interests, marketing interests, etc. And then you have the public views that come directly with Zoho. So I'm going to choose marketing interest. And again, I have to uh, name the component. So I'm going to call this contacts, oops, contacts with a marketing interest and click Save here. Oh, I have too many. So you can see here, I already have 10 components in the dashboard, so I have to get rid of one before I can add this one. So what I'll do is I'll cancel out of here, and I'm going to, let's see, I can go here, I can delete this one, delete this, and now I can go back up here, add the component again, go back to Contacts, Marketing Interest, and here I will call here contacts with a marketing interest and I will save that and now you can see it's here as well um, you can then as you sh I just showed you you can edit or delete this if you were to edit it you would just be picking a different list that this came from so now what I could do is if I wanted to reorder let's say I wanted the contacts up here first and then I wanted the top lead source I can do that as well. And now you can see how this is as well. The other way, the other component that you can add is a widget. And then when you hit click next, you can create a new widget if you don't have one. Um, just call this a sample widget. And then you would have, you can have it be from Zoho. You can have a file. You can have all different things here as well. You can customize it. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to cancel out of this. Um, but you see, you get the sense of how you can customize your own dashboard. And the key here is that this dashboard is for this user. And this user, um, or as the user, I can add whatever I want to this dashboard. And it's for me only and no one else. The next thing is, is that as an admin, you can create home pages that you want to give to certain groups of users. And in this case, I created one called Sample Home Homepage. And you can see here that this is another dashboard or homepage. And it's a combination of some uh, dashboard items as well as custom view items. Um, and as you can see, similar to the classic view, you cannot make changes to this dashboard other than to replace because this dashboard has been defined for you in whatever your role in your role is. So this kind of thing can be very useful if you have, um, say, a salesperson role and you always want them to look at the information that's relevant for them and you want to tell them how they need to start managing their workload. So you would set this up. And the key is that um, you would set this up by the role and then based on the security information that you've put into Zoho, you can then, th these dashboards would show if they can see all data, they could see um, all of these, all the leads, or if you only let them see the leads that they own, this dashboard item would only reflect their leads and not all of the leads. So let's get into how you can create this customized uh, homepage. And again, this is gonna be similar to what I just showed you uh, on the user homepage as well. But if you go back to this down arrow, you'll see that you have an option here to customize the home page. And if I click on that, it, you can see this is taking you into the setup menu and customize home page comes under customization and you can see it's right here. So as you can see, uh, there are two dashboard options available. One is the sample home page, which is the one that we just looked at. And you can see that this is um, shared with the C, uh, several different roles, the CEO, the VP of sales, VP of marketing, marketing manager, and salesperson. In addition, I've created another uh, homepage called YouTube homepage, and this has some slightly different information in it. And you can see that I've shared that with the VP of service. 
So we're going to go through and and uh, and create a cu customized home page. But what's important to know is that you can only share one p home page per role. So that is something that you definitely want to be aware of. And in terms of the roles, we do have videos that go into the um, how to define roles and what a role is. And then you, that will help you as well in, in knowing what you need to do here. But let's start from creating a new home page. And then I can title the page. Uh, and I will call this um, video home page. And then I can decide, do I want dashboard components? And I can decide which dashboard I want to get take the components from. So in this case, I'm going to take activity stats. And let's see, let's take task completed. Um, and we can take this one. Then we can choose another one. Let's take org overview revenue this month. There's no data there, so we don't want this one. Leads this month, we could take that one. And then we can also take lead by source, even though that's what like I had on the other one. And then we can, um, if we wanted more from the dashboards, we can take others. Um, we could take total campaigns. That one, there's nothing there. It's really nothing in the marketing metrics. So let's take deal insights. Deals created, we can choose. Um, we can choose um, revenue by users. And then if we wanted to, we can move these around in any order we want. After you're finished with the dashboards, you can also pick specific custom views. So let's say in contacts, you want, um, in this case, you want all contacts that have an accounting interest. So we're showing those here um, as well in the dashboard or the home page. So now we have a mix and let's say we then wanted to include leads um, and we can do ones that have a, that are part of the demo view. And now we have a mix of uh, dashboard items and custom view items as well. The next thing you'd want to do is click the Save and Share button. Again, we named this already. And now this is what I was referring to before. You have, you can take the, um, you have to assign this homepage to a role. So in this case, I'm going to, uh, assign it to the marketing analyst and then salesperson too. And what's important to note here is that if you remember from the other custom home pages that we created, there was a VP of sales, other VP roles, but those aren't appearing here because those roles already have their um, home pages customized for them. And like I mentioned, you can only have one customized page per role. So here now I'm going to save it for these two and then I'm going to click save. And now you can see that we have um, the video homepage, which we just created. This is for the marketing analyst and the salesperson too, in addition to the other homepages that we created. Now, because uh, my the, the role that I'm using for this demo falls under the roles that are uh, assigned to the sample homepage, when I go back to my home page, even though I created uh, that new video home page, that's not an option here. Uh, what I can see again is the classic view, the home page that I can customize myself as a user, and then the sample home page, which was assigned to me. Hopefully this helps you understand the different options you have in customizing your home page and what you can do with it. If you have more questions, please feel free to contact us at info at marksgroup.net or visit us at marksgroup.net. Thank you.